This video is on the hardest part of organic chemistry, which is condensation polymerization. Let's have a look at how you build a condensation polymer using nylon as our example. So here are my two monomers that I'm going to use in the construction of nylon. They are different from each other, which is what makes it special from addition polymerization. And they also both have kind of jazzy sections at each end, which means that they're reactive at each end, which is what allows them to build up into that long polymer. You'll also notice that I've drawn these boxes in the middle of them, which is kind of normal in your uh, exams, which represent any carbon chain. So that box could represent one carbon, it could represent 300 carbons. The one on the right hand side I've shaded in black just to illustrate that it doesn't have to be the same number of carbons as the one on the left. Neither of these compounds you have to be able to name, which is why I haven't done that today. So the way we convert both of these into our polymer is as follows. Condensation polymerization means you're building a polymer, but the condensation part means that I'm also getting a byproduct out as a result. The easiest way to find out what the polymer is, is to take the byproduct out first and then to see what you're left with. So the byproduct is normally water. So I'm going to take out water, which is H2O, removing the easiest bonds possible. So I want to break the minimum number of bonds, which means I'm going to break the OH from the molecule on the right, because I don't want to break that double bond. That's a lot of bonds. And I'm also going to take the H from the nitrogen on the left. Those together make water. Now, if I draw out everything that I have, what you can see is in the middle, the nitrogen is supposed to have three bonds and the carbon is supposed to have four bonds. But currently, both of those things are lacking a bond, which is where the polymerization happens. This is the linkage that links these two monomers together. So I can connect them with a bond, and that bond's called an amide bond, which is otherwise known as a peptide link. This is the same thing that joins together those amino acids to build up proteins. Cool, huh? If you were looking at how this would build up into a longer polymer, you can see that the OH on the right could also be lost and could therefore join onto another nitrogen containing monomer. And the one on the left, you could lose the hydrogen from, and then that could join onto another monomer on that side too. So you can see that they have to have the functional groups on both sides so that you can continue building up that long chain one after the other. Wow, that feels like uh, I've just done a lot of talking about condensation polymerization. I hope that it makes it a little bit clearer, but if you go through this with your teacher in class, use some molly mods and do some modeling with it, hopefully it'll become a lot clearer for you.